Hello friends, welcome to another exciting episode of Mr. Johnson's Math Class. On this lesson we are discussing pyramids and prisms. All right, now let's talk about what is a cross section. So if we were to take a polyhedra or a three-dimensional solid, three-dimensional figure, and if we were to like slice through it. So you could think about like cutting through an apple or cutting through some fruit. Um, I mean, I guess there's a whole bunch of things you cut through. Anyway, you get the idea. So if we were to cut through a solid, the shape, the two dimensional shape that's formed is the cross section. So here we have a rectangular prism and it's rectangular because it has two rectangular bases that are parallel. And if we were to slice through here, the shape that would be formed if we cut through this That's the shape that you get, and that's the cross section. Now here we have a triangular prism. It's a prism because it has two parallel bases. So there's one base, there's one base. And if you would imagine like slicing through, so let's say that we slice down through this. Like if you did a, a nice Kung Fu chop and you slice through, the shape that you get from this is a triangle. So the cross section for the triangular prism, if you did a vertical cross section, this would be a triangle. So its cross section would make a triangle. Now down here we see the same triangular prism and this time we give a Hong Kong Fui chop perpendicular to the basis. So up here we did a parallel cross section because we went parallel to the bases. This is a perpendicular cross section. So we slice through there really fast and this is the part that would be cut out of it. Uh, so it has a rectangular cross section. So just because it's a triangular prism I don't mean it's going to result in a triangular cross-section. Just something to think about. 